Hi, this is James with Epilogue. Thanks for joining us today. Now, I've gotten a lot of requests recently for uh, a video on a very specific material and product, and that is a copper Moscow mule mug. Now, I found these online, and these are a great mug to engrave because you've got a lot of nice flat space here. So it'll work really well on our Fusion Galvo G100 on the rotary attachment. Take it a step further, we're gonna go ahead and do 360 degree engraving. I'm gonna show you a cool trick for how you can get 360 degree engraving and make sure that that's perfect before you actually engrave it. Let's get started. So let's go ahead and get the rotor installed. We're just gonna set it inside the machine. I'm just gonna plug this in. Now this is with the machine off because what I'm gonna do then is turn it on and uh, the laser will recognize that the rotary has been installed. So I'll let that boot up. In the meantime, I'll get my cup ready. Uh, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm, I'm going to measure uh, the diameter of the cup. So I've got it here, and I've just got my calipers come to the center point of the cup, the area I'm going to be engraving. And I can see that is about 2.595. So I'll write that down. I'm going to take some aluminum tape. Now, uh, you can find this kind of like ducting tape. You can find it at the hardware store. It comes in a large roll. I've just cut off a small piece of it. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this to test my first cup to make sure that I've uh, done all my measurements correctly. Now, this is great if I'm doing multiple pieces and I just want to make sure that I've got everything set up correctly. I'll just place that right on the cup. And we'll do a small start and end point on it just to make sure that the li it lines up perfectly. So the laser is booted up, so I'll go ahead and raise that door. Now, this piece here, what this is going to do is allow you to change to uh, put your cup right onto those bars, and then I'll just tighten that up nicely. And I want that tape at the top of the cup. Good. And now I can use a level to make sure that I'm as level as possible. Now, uh, there's this large wheel here that I can let, I could release to uh, change the leveling in the cup, but it's not quite as precise as I like. So what I prefer to do is this little screw here. And what this is gonna do is give you very precise adjustments on the rotary. So go in here, just loosen that up, bring the cup up to the level and just tighten that up. And that will give you no give like that larger wheel does. So I like that just a little bit better. Now we're ready to focus. So I'm gonna hit my focus button and uh, you can see a, I don't know if you can see it on camera, but there's a crosshair and a dot. So that'll allow me to move the table until those are right over that center point. And that should be perfectly in focus. Once I'm happy with that, I'm just gonna add a couple little thumb screws here just to hold this in place, make sure it doesn't move around. and we're ready to set up our file. So now we've got the rotary attachment all set up inside the laser, we're ready to set up our file. So I'm gonna teach you a little tip that I use for if I'm doing a one of a kind 360 degree engraving. I wanna make sure that my lines are gonna line up perfectly. And this little test will get you there. So I've created two lines here with an S and an E. This one will go at the top of the page, this will go at the bottom. So if our engraving is perfect, what you're gonna see 
is one line with an E above it and an S below it. And that's what we're going for. We're going to do this on that aluminum tape, so we're just going to barely mark it. So first thing I'm going to do, well, first let's set up our page size. So for the page width, I'm going to set this to how far across the piece I want to engrave. So this is basically this area right here. So I want to see how far I want to go. I've measured that out to be 2.625 inches. And then for my page height, we're going to take the diameter that we calculated, which was 2.595, multiply that by pi, so 3.141. And I end up with 8.15 inches. So that's going to be our circumference or our page height, 8.15. Then I'm going to grab my starting graphic, Let's put it right here at the very top of the page. And my ending graphic can do the same thing. And then I'm just going to center that to the page so that they line up. I'll select both of those, and print those over to the laser dashboard. So I've chosen my epilogue engraver here, selection only, and print. So once that file is over at the laser, all I need to do is go to my advanced tab, and we're going to set up our rotary attachment settings now. So I'm going to turn on the rotary and say rotary diameter. Now this is the measurement of the diameter we calculated before, so 2.595 inches. Our page width was 2.625, and our height was 8.15. Next, I'll just change my centering point to center top. Go to the preview. Now I can just drop that right in here and import my settings. So I've got an aluminum tape mark that I've already tested out. So I'll import that. Now this is a 60 watt MOPA, so I'm going 2% speed, 35% power, one frequency in a 10 waveform. I find this is a really good setting for just marking the top of that aluminum tape. I'm just gonna come in here and make sure that's all the way at the top of the page. And all the way at the bottom. And that way I know that my lines are going to line up because I don't see any white above those lines. So now I just have to hit print and send it over to the laser. Now that it's done, I'm just going to release this and take a look at my marks. Now we've barely marked it, so it's a little difficult to see on screen. But there's an S and an E at the top and bottom of that line, and I only see one line. So that means my measurements are perfect and we're ready to go. We can send over our file now. So let's remove the tape. Now this is only something you need to do one time on these if the mugs are all the same size because once you've got it set up, you know you're good to go. Put my mug back on. We'll go back to the computer. Now that we've got the rotary all set up with our mug, we're ready for our next step, which is send over a file. So I'm just going to move off the screen our little test file. I'm going to center our other one on the screen, our actual design. I'm going to change that to 8.15 inches. Center that again. And we're ready to print it over the laser. So I've got selection chosen. So I'm going to hit print.
So now we have our job over at the laser dashboard. So all we have to do is set up our rotary attachment settings again. Turn that on. Rotary diameter was 2.595. Page width of 2.625 and a height of 8.15. We'll do our centering point as center top. Back on our preview tab, then I can just drag that over onto the screen. One thing I'm going to do is just make sure that this is all the way at the top. If you see that white above or below it, you're going to end up with uh, a line there. And we've used a repeating graphic here. So the top and the bottom are going to line up the same style of graphic, basically. You can see it's a little bit short there. So I'm just going to grab that, and pull it down right to the edge. Now I just need to set up my settings. So I'm going to import some settings we've tested already. So I've got a copper rotary mark. And this is a 60 watt uh, Galvo uh, MOPA. So I've got it set to 50% speed, 100% power. 1% frequency, 15 wave. So I'll go ahead and print that over the laser then. Now that we have a file over here, all we need to do is hit trace. And we're just going to adjust the position a little bit. It's one thing you'll need to do one time. Get that set up perfectly lined up between the two. When I'm happy with it, then I'll go ahead and lock that into place. And we're ready to start engraving. Okay, we're all done. Let's go ahead and take that off. I'm going to just take a look around. And there's no seam. That's really great. Great 360 degree engraving, no seam. We've got a really beautiful Moscow Mule mug. So now that we're done engraving, we've got a beautiful set of Moscow Mule mugs. Now we did the full 360 degree engraving on here, but you could do something as simple as a logo as well. That would be very fast to engrave. Uh, that'd be perfect for a bar or restaurant that offer their own Moscow mules, or you could even do it for events like weddings. Lots of different options for a product like this. So I hope you found that tip today on how to make sure that your 360 engraving is gonna line up helpful. And check out our YouTube channel for even more videos on how to use the laser. Thanks and have a great day.